Hi everyone, this is Mayer talking to you from the School for Self-Healing with staff here. And I want to talk about two unrelated subjects, but there is some relationship there. You know, working on the eyes takes time. When you learn how to blink better, so your eyes will bring more uh, tears to the cornea and you will see better, that takes time. Blinking doesn't take any time. You do it in the day-to-day activity. When you learn to look at details and do the shifting exercise, which is basically what helped me see with time, looking at smaller details than you tend to see, I'll never forget how often I stand in front of a sign that I can almost see, then I count the words in that sign, and then I start to see them one by one, which is just wonderful. When I look at letters, all of a sudden, one becomes clear, and then I'm starting to see them one by one again. So this is a fantastic thing that one can do, and then the brain starts to get it. Now people ask me, how will I find time? You know, I was so busy today. I could not really find the time to do my eye exercises, except palming, which I never skip. You know, where you rub your hands and you put your hands over the eye orbits and you visualize darkness, maybe even blackness. But I didn't have time for anything else. So I had my red and green glasses. I had red light. I drew a circle. And I put the glasses on with the uh, red lens over my uh, weak eye. Uh, And uh, that's the eye that was dominating in that process. Guess what? The whole thing was one minute and my eyes started to work more together and I had such a great visual relief. So you know what? A minute here and a minute there does work. And your style of working on yourself shouldn't be uh, everything or nothing like I will not exercise unless I go to the gym. I will not exercise unless I will run the exact area that I need to run. No. When you have A minute or two, just use those. And when you have an hour, please, by all means, spend time to move yourself forwards. Because every time you don't spend on yourself is a time that your body needs. And instead of sitting in a doctor's office for hours upon hours, time to take care of yourself. Now I'll move to another subject. And you know, we have so many beautiful subjects in my book, uh, Movement for Self-Healing. And as of now, it is available for sale in our um, bookstore. Is that true? Yeah, it's, uh, I just have to turn it on. Okay. So it will be by the end of the day. Wonderful. So Ryan now told me that by the end of today, it's going to be available for sale, which is great. That's my technician who knows so well how to use uh, the system and I depend on very much. Uh, So, you will be able to get movement for self-healing. And one thing that I want to talk about is the different therapeutic styles. It's interesting. You know, I started my work with a wonderful teacher who was afraid to teach people the work because she was afraid that she may break the law. And she was a librarian. And at the end of the day, she would always sit with someone who was handicapped, and teach them movement. And uh, that was wonderful. And with Vered, who really learned to overcome many symptoms of polio, and with Danny, who worked on severe muscular dystrophy. And it's interesting that we had different styles of working. Vered and I worked in a way that included the whole body. So if one had headaches, I would work on the abdomen, I would work on the neck. These days, I would even work on the feet, on the toes, to help the head. And of course, there's so many things you can do for a headache. If it's about to come, be in a dark room. Sometimes a cold compress on your forehead helps. But breathe deeply and let it go. Rest it away if you can. Sometimes you can. But that's where treatment can really help. And Danny was different. He worked on the headache, 
And he had such wonderful hands because of his muscular dystrophy. He found himself building himself like a statue. And I can tell you, sometimes, without meaning to, I had terrible eye strain. I reduced my eye flutter from 300 movements per minute. If you saw Stevie Wonder, it's called nystagmus, to 60 movements per minute. Now it's between 0 to 12, which is wonderful. But if I strained to see something, I had a headache. He could simply put his hands on my head, massage it, and take the pain away. And he had the most special hands that exist. And this is one thing I want to say. I read Braille, Braille for many years. The world now benefits from the Braille reading that I had. I was the quickest Braille reader in the state of Israel. And boy, there were some quick readers. But as of sixth grade, that's what I was able to do. Now, I feel people's body. And I feel where a muscle is weak or strong. Beyond any test, I can feel what happens with the fluids of the body. And I can really help many people. But my direction was always to work on the whole to help the area that is damaged. Until today, if somebody comes to me with bursitis of the shoulder, he will be surprised to see it. I will work with him on his leg, on the abductors of the leg, in order to stabilize the shoulders before I even touch it. And many body workers who don't have my sensitivity, and definitely not Danny's sensitivity, go straight to the damaged area, and sometimes damage it more by touching it and working with it. So it's wonderful if you read in that book, there's so many things to read in the book, but if you read about different therapeutic style, you'll see that there are many ways that the whole world is one big laboratory, and there's so, so many, many ways to work on the body. And that's exactly what you're going to learn in my training course. I teach you how to touch the body differently, move it differently. And even in the workshop, you'll have a good introduction to that. I will be happy if some of you will take the workshop and then be turned on to the work so much that you will want to study even more. Because really, the training course is not long. It's just, it's from... <clears throat> the 5th of August to the 24th. And while we meet intensively, we have wonderful breaks, tea breaks, lunch breaks. And uh, we have a day in between every uh, uh, eight days. So we have four days, a day off, and then four days, two days off, four days, a day off, and another four days. It's an unforgettable experience. One lady called me right now and she said she felt so well to be in a commune with everyone. I think that people who are ill have a place to open up, and people who are very healthy also have a place to open up and get rid of things which really bother them. And the different forms of touch come with different forms of movement. And that's what we teach, which is the most unique and amazing thing until today. I feel indebted to that time that I was working with a young kid just finished his adolescence and a very young woman and myself. I just became a man, I would say, when I was um, 20 years of age. And the three of us were working and we were so famous in Israel. And I would like right now all departments of physiotherapy and occupational therapy and massage therapy to adapt what we do. But I need more people. I need people who would want to learn to work on themselves and then on others. Many blessings to all of you. Much love from here.